we have another question to solve. John 2007, question 28. And we have to determine the value of y. If root 12 minus root 1 or 7 plus y root 3 equals 0. And we have options and we are expected to stick each one at the end of the solution. Okay, we want to now see how we can resolve this very problem. We have root 12 minus root 1, 4, 7 plus y root 3 equal 0. Now I need to leave this one behind. I uh, move this very two over to the other end across this very equal sign. Okay, if I move this two, I will be uh, having a uh, y with three legs. Okay, I will have to move this one away. Don't forget that at this position we have a visible cross. Okay, at this one cross this equal sign become minus. And don't also forget we have the equal sign here for this very one. And this one also cross become positive. Therefore, this one moving now become uh, positive is now root uh, 147. Okay, we have root 147. And the other one will also move. Okay, we have minus root 12. This is what we have. Now, in this very case, now I need to reduce this very uh, one. I need to reduce it. Okay, to, to a lower solve. Okay, now for the one of 147. Okay, I need to break it down, become 49 times 3. You use your calculator and you uh, understand what I'm talking about. Multiply 49 and 3 and you have 147. Okay, for the 1 of 12, multiply 4 and 3, you have the 12. Okay, now don't forget that this one still remains the same. We have not uh, resolved. Okay, we have to leave this one first. We are not to resolve it yet. For the other one, this very side, the right hand side. Okay. We have 49 and 3. This is the first one. I need to separate it. Okay, I will have 49. The root of 49. Okay, I will also do the same thing to 3. That times the root of 3. I will have to separate them. Okay, for this one, I will also do the same. The root of 4. Okay, times the root of 3. Okay, this is what I have now. Don't forget this one still remains. The left hand side still remains while 3. Okay, now what can we do now? We have a perfect square here. We have a perfect square here. Okay, it means that, okay, let me repeat this one. We have not yet resolved this part. We need to still repeat it. Okay, for this one, the right hand side, the root of 49 is a perfect square and to give you 7. Okay, it will give uh, 7 root uh, 3. 7 root 3. Why for this one? Don't forget that 4 is also a, root 4 is also a perfect square. Therefore, if I do that, I will have 2. It will become 2 root 3. This is what I have. Okay. Now, at the right hand side, we have a common sort. Please don't forget. At the right hand side, we have a common sort. And of course, we are going to remove that now. Okay. Now, let's see what we need to do. Okay. We have y equal. This is what we have here. At the okay. Okay. We still have uh, we still have this one. Okay. I have to still repeat it. Let me repeat it. I need to still repeat it. Okay. Okay, now this one is this. Okay, for this part we have a common sort. Okay, I need to factor out the one that is common. We have the three that is common there. Okay, if I factor it out, I will now have seven minus two. Okay, root three is common. I need to factor it out. Okay, I've done something like that. Now what can I do again? What can I do again? Okay, there's a simple way to do this. I can say this. We eliminate this, okay? It can go, of course. And what will be left there? I will be having y equal 7 minus 2 is going to be 5. Therefore, the answer will be 5. Okay, now let's see from the very um, options if we have something like that. Okay, I think we have option A as the best uh, option. Okay, now I think we can now end the very uh, discussion yet now we can move on to the next question thank you very much for staying on the platform jb jungle online mathematics please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel mathematics science mega tutorial all the best thank you and god bless you okay want to move on to the next question okay let us see the next question